My name is Father Dennis Gill, and I'm a priest of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia. This course presents a comprehensive overview of the sacraments of healing, the sacrament of penance and reconciliation, as well as the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. An emphasis is given to a theological understanding of the rites, the liturgical celebration, along with a review of the pastoral and spiritual aspects associated with these two sacraments. The introduction to the ritual books and the ritual books for the sacraments of healing provide the primary content of this course. There will be five sessions. In this first session, we will look at the sacrament of penance and reconciliation, and I will provide a general overview of the ritual book. In the second session, we will look at the three rites for the sacrament of penance and reconciliation. In the third session, we will look at the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, and I will provide you with an overview of the ritual book as well. The fourth session will look at the rites for the pastoral care of the sick, especially the rites for the anointing of the sick. And finally, in the fifth session, we will look at the pastoral care of the dying with a special focus on viaticum. Before we look at the sacrament of penance and reconciliation, I want to say a few things about the sacraments in general. It's important for us to make the point that all the sacraments are about healing. All seven sacraments are an encounter with Jesus, Jesus on the cross and risen from the dead, his paschal mystery. This is the event that saves and redeems us, our ultimate healing from sin, a sharing in Christ's divine life and the gift of everlasting life. The church, however, designates two sacraments as sacraments of healing in a particular way. This is what we read in the Catechism in Articles 1420 and 1421. Through the sacraments of Christian initiation, man receives the new life of Christ. Now we carry this life in earthen vessels, and it remains hidden with Christ and God. We are still in our earthly tent, subject to suffering, illness, and death. This new life as a child of God can be weakened and even lost by sin. The Lord Jesus Christ, physician of our souls and bodies, who forgives the sins of the paralytic and restored him to bodily health, has willed that his church continue in the power of the Holy Spirit, his work of healing and salvation, even among her own members. This is the purpose of the two sacraments of healing, the sacrament of penance and the sacrament of the anointing of the sick. In order to understand just how these sacraments do what they do, as all the other sacraments, it is helpful for us to recall what the Constitution of the Sacred Liturgy said about sacraments in general. And this comes to us from the Constitution in Article 59. Listen to the purpose of the sacraments as described by the Constitution on the Liturgy. The sacraments sanctify men, build up the body of Christ, and finally give worship to God. Because they are signs, they also instruct. They not only presuppose faith, but by words and objects, they also nourish, strengthen, and express it. That is why they are called sacraments of faith. They do indeed impart grace. But in addition, the very act of celebrating them most effectively disposes the faithful to receive this grace in a fruitful manner to worship God duly, and to practice charity. It is therefore of the highest importance that the faithful should easily understand the sacramental signs and should frequent with great eagerness these sacraments which were instituted to nourish the Christian life. 